We're seeing in the U.S. Congress a move to cut off the three billion dollars a year aid that's going to Pakistan. We're seeing Pakistan being put under pressure from internal. People are objecting to the U.S. attack to kill bin Laden. Uh, people are starting to question whether or not the government's support to the anti-terrorism operations is worth it. And the Pakistani government themselves are now saying they're thinking about reassessing their collaboration with the United States to conduct terrorism in Pakistan. The ideal time for a terrorist group to strike and so further political instability. Well, in this case, I don't think they're looking for political instability right. as much as they are trying to pressure the Pakistani government to withdraw from supporting the United States in counterterrorism operations. That's objective number one. If they can achieve that, then at a more leisurely pace, they can destabilize the government. And um, we should then, at face value, take this line from them quite seriously, that this is a revenge attack for bin Laden's death. Um, we should probably take it seriously as being a revenge attack. Uh, whether it is or whether it isn't is not really important to the end state, and the end state is the continuing collaboration between Pakistan and the United States. Mm. That's what's at play now. Should we, though, reflect that there have been a, a number of various attacks and, and bomb outrages in this border area, particularly near Peshawar? This is nothing new, despite no, it, it, the, the deadly new. nature of this latest It's attack. not new. It's just a difference in scale. Uh, and that, as you can tell, it gets a lot of worldwide attention. It gets a lot of global coverage. Uh, the people in Pakistan are very much aware of it. Uh, and it just continues to exacerbate the question of how much does Pakistan want to pay in terms of lives to participate in this war.